Guys, welcome to the awakening. I'm in the shed, <laughs> Baba Bertha's shed. We're awakening today. I went down Amersham High Street today and uh, I went into some of the stalls chatting. This amazing guy selling kaftans, his name was Bridge, and he shook my hand and he loved the idea of moving on TV. Do you know what I mean? And I said to him, Wow, you're so. I'm so grateful you're not wearing one of those things, you know? And he said, uh, yeah, he said, I'm interested in talking to you on moving on the TV station. That was exciting. And I met up with a friend and all we did was hug and chat and put the world to right. And that's the awakening. It's been such an incredible day. I'm in the allotment now in the green. And <laughs> what do I want to talk about? What do I want to talk about? Let me see. I want to talk about the darkness leading to the light. And, you know, I think a lot of us, our childhoods have brought us to such a level where we've got so much anger stuck in our subconscious and it gets to a time like this when we're waking up. And sometimes we need to connect Back. We need to connect back to the anger and that rage that's going on inside us in order to be able to move on. Hmm. I think that's what I want to talk about is, you know, if you read Simply Amazing, the book that I'm in, uh, you'll see that my massive awakening was because I was able to tap back in to the childhood abuse. I was able to feel it. I was able to feel like a child again. And then I was able to release it, and the minute I released it, I was able to get total inner peace for a while. And so, you know, whenever anyone comes to me and they're really angry people and they can't cope with the anger, and the anger is going out a lot at the moment towards that lot that have destroyed our world and our kids, I know that it's something to do with childhood abuse. It's always something to do with childhood abuse. You, it's stuff that has happened to you as a child and I think that's what un is underneath a lot of mental health issues is children have been abused all over the place by their parents, their grandparents, their uncles, their aunts it's everywhere, it's everywhere and you know as I said when people talk to me and they're packed full of anger then that's the anger of the little child that never had the opportunity to express. You know, if you've got really high blood pressure, it means you're really angry. And you can't really heal that with medication. You have to go inside and you have to release your anger. You have to write journals and you have to get that anger out against the people that have made you like that. And if someone is around you, like a child, for example, that's got a lot of anger in them, then that child is only showing you what your little child can say or do. Now, I'm not saying don't go to the doctor, but be very, very careful these days because they might stick you in that ward, you know what I mean? This is happening all over the place now. It's totally outrageous. If you go with high blood pressure, if you go with a little bit of a temperature. I'm doing a news flash today with a lovely lady who actually went through that. And she refused to wear a mask and spoke to the head sister in Watford General Hospital. And the, the sister said that was outrageous. She said to her, don't watch the news. She said, I don't. And she protected her. So there's good people as well. There's good nurses and doctors that are awake. But you need to use discernment. You need to be very careful now. So do you know what? Some of those doctors and nurses are the product of abuse too. They're confused. A lot of people are confused now. But I tell you one thing about this thing, paedophilia. To me, they all... People get abused as children, but they don't go out and carry on the abuse chain. They end it. Just because you're abused, there's no excuse to go out and abuse someone else. They need to be castrated, and that's my opinion or sterilized if they abuse children they shouldn't be allowed to have children they definitely shouldn't be allowed to adopt 
And unfortunately, it's the uncles, the aunts, the grandparents. There's always one. Not always, but a lot of the time there's one. And if your family are protective over you and love you enough, then they'll protect you from it. But I'm telling you now, and I'm trying not to do Baba Bertha here, God, it's, it's hard sometimes not to go into her personality using comedy in order to get all of this out there. This is me, Lauren, talking to you here, saying that a lot of you, like me, that are warriors, that are not afraid to pick up the baton and walk tall and say, I want to be the Prime Minister and I want to run this country because I know exactly what to do, because I love people. There are lots of people like me that feel that. We could do it, we could do it together as a council. No one can buy us, clean up the mess and start again and make this place an equal, equal country where we're all loved. We all have opportunities the same without money coming into the equation or, or dividing money up. But I'm saying to you that a lot of you that are warriors, your, anger, your children that were abused or bullied in some way, and you have a job to do like me, and I was able to tap into that inner child and use that in a positive way to heal, to heal humanity, and to use it in moving on TV and creativity. So you're all missing something if you're still very angry and your blood pressure is very high. You cannot heal that with statins. Be very careful of statins. Oh my God. I've heard some horror stories of people bleeding when they take statins. Watch Kate Shimriani. She's a doctor, a nurse. Philip Day, journalist, nurse, medical journalist. People like that know the truth more than I do. I just pass it on. But what I'm saying to you guys is if you're very angry, come to me and I'll help you tap into that inner child that's been abused in some way or bullied. Because that's all you need. Once you tap into that, you can become that indigo, that warrior that does it with love. And girls out there to change the world and wake people up without having to shout at them, without having to destroy your own health. Yesterday I was in a space where I didn't care anymore. I wanted off the planet. I felt so sick and so full of grief and so angry. I came out to the allotment and I was digging all those roots up and screaming and crying. There's no one here, which is great. You do that. Come to me to the allotment. Scream and cry and let it all out. You're welcome any time. Come to me. I want you here hugging, meditating, singing. There's no one here. If you want to get away, come to the allotment, come and have some peace here, or, or scream or shout, dig up some of the roots in the garden, whatever. If you've got nowhere to go, some of you, I love you, I want you here. You're invited to come. I haven't got a cup of tea, <laughs> but you know, I'll figure out a way. If you know how to heat a shed in the winter, I need to understand that because I'm not very good at things like that. I'm in here today because it's raining. But as I'm saying to you guys, today is about bringing you into the light. If you are very angry, like me at times, it comes out through Boba Bertha in comedy and satire. Please subscribe, share and like Moving On TV so we can grow. From now on, if you want an interview and it's not about releasing the kids or saving the innocents or red-pilling people, I'm either going to charge or a donation or bartering. I'm not doing anything for free anymore. It's not good for me. It's not good for anyone to do that. Unless I feel that you're working towards releasing the kids and it's right for me, I'm going to ask you to barter with me or donate. I can't do it for free because I have to earn a living like everyone else. There's a link down below and I'm going to try and set up Patreon. But as I'm saying to you, if you're very angry, if you get angry with me, if you get angry with life and angry with the terrible things that are happening out there, it means your little child is kicking and screaming, asking you to do something to help yourselves, whether it's writing a journal, colouring in, digging up roots and screaming and crying and shouting and jumping up and down and waving your arms in the air. <laughs> Say something else, that was Boba Bertha. 
um, or singing or dancing, whatever it is, I'm going to send this to all of you. If you've got any anger in you, then the possibility is you were abused as a child, molested as a child, you're not dealing with it, or you were bullied in some way, okay? And those that are standing up and telling you that they need to get you into a COVID ward, these little Hitlerish, Hitlerish nurses that are lying to you, or that are completely screwed up and watching the media, compared to that wonderful sister who said this is rubbish, who we, we will at some point get to interview those nurses that know the truth. Don't watch the media. Don't watch the media. Watch moving on TV. Someone said to me, I have a jingle. Like, um, instead of watching ITV, tune into moving on TV. Moving on TV. Instead of watching BBC, tune into be moving on TV. For you and me, moving on TV. Forget BBD, forget ITV, forget BBC, and tune in to Moving on TV, Moving on TV, for you and me. Mm -hmm. There you go, this is my jingle. <laughs> Love you lots, take care. Join the awakening, subscribe, share and like come and visit us we always love it when people come here and we hug and chat and have fun together nothing to worry about you're all doing fine okay but you need to tap into that little child inside you that may have something to say take care lots of love bye